Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my channel is all about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be a cup of coffee, skincare, handbags, perfume, just anything that makes you feel happy and um, special in your everyday life. If you're all about that, please stay tuned. Today I'm gonna to talk about the items I got for Christmas in 2021. Welcome back. Um, I'm a little late to my Christmas, what I got for Christmas video. It's actually January 2nd that I'm filming this and I think it will probably go up the same day as well, but um, I needed a couple days off. I uh, did Vlogmas and it was incredibly um, exhausting. So I just needed a little bit of, um, a couple days of, of rest. So anyway, um, glad to be back and, um, you know, just took a couple days to, to recuperate. So I am going to talk about a few things I got for Christmas. I actually did unbox, um, a few of the items during Vlogmas. So if you don't follow me during Vlogmas, I totally understand. It's kind of like a whirlwind and overwhelming. <laughs> so if you want to see the actual true unboxing those items, I will link the videos throughout this, um, this video. Um, otherwise I'm just going to open not open that in, but bring up the item and then link to the video up above. So um, the first item I bought myself basically for Christmas is this uh, Dior fragrance. It's the um, vanilla Diorama. And I've been wanting to try this forever. There aren't any locations that sell this um, locally to me here in Portland. And I haven't really been traveling with the situation going on um, in the last couple of years. So I was really excited about this for myself. I haven't even sprayed it yet. I still want to leave that for an actual review um, video of the fragrance, but already I'm like, <laughs> doing that. So I'm, I'm just excited for the vanilla part of it, but it had a great presentation. It comes with its own dust bag and pillow. It's very luxurious. Um, really excited to start um, exploring the Dior Maison uh, fragrances. So that's um, really exciting. Next, so other thing I unboxed during um, Vlogmas as well, another gift to myself was um, this limited edition Diptyque Bays candle. And it came with some little free gifts of roses, votive, and then these little perfumes. So really excited to try those out as well. So they are the um, Eau de Mont and Fleur de Pou. Pou, Pou, Pou. I will never say those right. <laughs> so yeah two items that I'm really excited to get into um, as time goes on. Um, so for my husband, he got me the House of Siage um, Disney. So excited about this because now I can stop babying. I'm not even going to unbox it. Um, I can stop babying the one that I have up there. I've been really... Um, just sporadically using it because I just like, oh, I'm never going to be able to get another one. But I think he found it on sale. So i um, excited about that. I will put this one in some storage area and start spritzing that one away. It came with a couple of, um, looks like uh, the samplers. Let's see here. Yeah, this one doesn't have shrink wrap on it. So this is um, all of the fragrances it looks like. And then this one is the Whispers. And I have um, these in the atomizer um, size. So I don't know, maybe I will keep those around for gift miss next year. We'll see. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how things go. So that is something from the husband. Um, the next thing I got from him was this item here and it came in, um, just really kind of disappointed with the presentation on it. I mean, not, not, it's not his fault, but, um, it's this, uh, cardboard presentation. And I think this is the refill for my agenda. 
but every time I've gotten a refill, they come in the normal magnetic, magnetic excuse me, boxes or the drawer boxes. Um, so, yeah, it is. Okay. So I, this is something I usually see, um, the smaller Clemence notebooks come in this or the, the notebook refills are usually in that. So that was kind of, um, unusual. I was hoping for a nicer presentation considering, and it didn't come in the holiday packaging either. So I didn't get the red ribbon. Um, so I know I'm being petty and, and whiny, but you know, little things, the little things. So this is for my desk agenda and I wanted the, the bound cover. And that was the other thing that I'm noticing as well that I thought these came with a thicker cover. This is really flimsy. I don't know if it will hold up in the desk agenda very well because this is like it could rip really easily. So it's $110, which is, you know, for Louis Vuitton, that's actually pretty dang cheap. But I was expecting a lot more when I got my um, refills for the um, PM. It came in a nice box with a lot of other accessories, the stickers and the little uh, address book and the rest of the other um, pieces in it. And this just seemed very, dare I say, dollar store. I mean, let's just be blunt. It looks like a dollar store agenda. It's flimsy. It, I guess it has the silver gilding on the side, but you can barely tell it's I'm gonna be blunt it's not it's not the quality I was expecting I'm I'm very disappointed with with this I, I'm not gonna return it as a gift but I probably will never buy um LV refills again at least not this size I have my medium that maybe that one would be um more impressive but yeah, I was really disappointed with the quality on this. So that's, that's sad. Um, I mean, I got some, this refill set from Etsy. The paper on that is twice as thick as this. <laughs> so I'm just, and I think I paid 10 bucks for a year and you could customize and have it start at certain times of the year. I realize the imagery is not Louis Vuitton imagery. Although, you know, I think there's some of them that might make, you know, some <laughs> Louis Vuitton like, but I just got some, um, women empowerment stuff on mine. And, um, I think I showed it in the setup video. I'll link it if I have it. And yeah, I probably will go that route for the future. So that was a little disappointing, kind of, kind of bummer. Um, uh, I didn't bring them in here. I completely forgot the things I got from my family. Uh, the girls were really nice. They got me some Starbucks cups. They got me a Starbucks gift card, um, some Bath and Body Works stuff. Cause I like that stuff, um, for bath and shower. Uh, what else? I think that's about it. So they, they know me pretty well. So they got me the usual, uh, stuff that I like for that aspect. Um, the in-laws got us a joint gift card for Home Depot and um, I think it's just like a regular cash gift card or something like that. So, yeah. And then I, last thing, got myself this one. And this one I ordered um, on the website. It came in and um, it was just thrown in the bag. <laughs> so I got the, this and I got the red ribbon, but it wasn't packaged. So yeah, a little bit unimpressed, but it did come with samples and it did come in the nice box. So, um, the last few times I've bought, um, items like this, they've been coming in, um, uh, the paper bag, which is well, kind of not impressive, but this one did come in the magnetic box. I did not get it um, engraved. 
so I, I completely forgot that that's what I had wanted to do, but I had talked about wanting to pick this up for quite some time, so I'll do an actual review on um, the scent profile of it when I have more time, but yeah, I'm really excited to have picked that one up, and then I'll talk about the fragrance samples real quick. So um, they have those limited edition um, Frank Gehry um, fragrances, and I really wanted to get um, some of those samples. So they did include, I believe just this one, Symphony, but I'm not sure what no Novo Monde is. I don't think Novo Monde is a fragrance sample from that one. So I did get the Symphony, which I know is the Frank Gehry one. Cactus Garden is the one I are, the, they always give you like, I should say always, they suggest that you get a sample of the one you're buying so that you don't open that and you could return it if you needed to. So they gave you one of those, but I already have it. So that's a good travel one to have. Um, Novo Mond, I don't know that fragrance. I've never heard of that one. Maybe it's a men's one. And then Afternoon Swim, which I believe is the blue bottle from that series. Um, so when California Dream came out, there was the other series with um, Cactus Garden afternoon swim and um sun song and that's the yellow so blue yellow green yes um that sun song is actually really nice as well i almost bought that one instead of cactus garden but i've really um been enjoying the sample i got of cactus garden it's a very serene um spa like scent very unisex so um it's just not very um intrusive, I guess is the way I would describe that scent. So um, I think you can wear it out and people would just be like, oh, that's pleasant. I'm not going to say you're walking around smelling like a candle or anything like that. But you're just, it's a pleasant scent that's not intrusive to to others. So not anything that will um, bother folks who have, may have sensitivity to, to fragrances. It's a very neutral, um, pleasant scent. So really excited about those items. So that's what I got um, for Christmas. Oh, I forgot because one thing I opened way, way, right, way early in Vlogmas. I bought myself a bag. I still haven't taken the tags off of it. <laughs> I haven't had to go anywhere really for, um, for work. I don't, I don't work out of the house anymore. So I, um, I'm kind of like, at a, a loss of, you know, when, when I'm running out of the house, I grab Felici, I grab um, the Neverfull, I grab the things I already have out. In fact, I'm, I'm carrying the Noe right now. And I'm just like, oh God, maybe I shouldn't have bought the bag. <laughs> but I know I will, I'll find a way. Like right today I'm wearing this blue thing. I just gotta make an, an actual conscious effort to, you know, fill the purse up and and use it. It's really beautiful. So this is the Citadine um, Prant in, um, I want to say navy. I can't remember the actual color that um, they said it was. It's not indigo. Oh my gosh. Oh, and I'll put it down below. But anyway, I thought it was black when I bought it. And when I came home, I was like, oh, that's not black. It won't go with the strap that I bought. <laughs> and so um, I'll have a link to the, the Vlogmas where I unbox it and talk about all of that stuff. But it, I'm really excited about it. I'm going to get it ready to wear. It comes with this little pouch. It's just a really beautiful bag and I can't wait to um to use it I just need to make an effort to to start using it so this was my big present to myself and I think it's really really lovely so yay. last last thing Boo's, Boo's excited about it too he's barking so anyway Happy New Year. I hope you all got something lovely and treated yourself something lovely if somebody didn't, didn't treat you. So um, take care. I will see you in the next video. Um, if you're watching this in a timely fashion, there's a giveaway going on until the 6th and I will be drawing the winners to those giveaways on the 7th, posting on the 8th, January 8th, 2022 on who won. So I will talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.